What's up, YouTube? Welcome to another episode with Cosilla. Anyways, her name is Priscilla, my name is Koke. There you go, that's where we get the Cosilla from. But anyways, guys, on today's video, we're going to be talking about culture shock. As you guys may know, we both came from United States into the beautiful country of Colombia. There's a lot of pros and there's a lot of cons. So what do you think, what do you say was the hardest thing for you? It was a, you know, there was a combination where I would just get overwhelmed and I'm like, ah, oh, we don't have our apartment and like, it's so hot. I get cold easily, but when I'm hot, I get grumpy. So it was like, I was like really grumpy the first week or so. Anyways, but so the first two things that were super hard uh, was the traffic and the drivers was like so energy draining because it's stressful. Like you're out on the streets and like it is a freaking mess. It seems like everyone's on a race to get to the exact same place and they're just like, you know, trying to cross each other. It's it's nuts and stuff like that. Just like, I'm like, like this holding on. Like, oh my God, oh my God, I'm thinking everyone's gonna crash, so. Yeah, <laughs> guys, stressful. so pretty much the roads here are completely super condensed. Super, There's yeah. a lot of roads that are both ways, but one car fits. <laughs> makes no freaking yeah. sense you know like you're going up and there's a car coming down and he doesn't want to go up you have to literally reverse all the way down so that they can get through <laughs> even though there's stop signs here nobody cares you know what i mean like it, it, like she said it's the first one to go and there's one million motorcycles like it's ridiculous Dude, you have everywhere traffic with cars and you have traffic with motorcycles and these people have no fear for their lives like they just so get in front like... of you every <laughs> single day so uh, and it was like burr, 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 burr. you hear honking everywhere the whole time. It's oh yeah, that's that that is true. Mm -hmm. Honking here is a form of communication. Yeah. It's not like in the United States where it, like it's last minute. You have to. Or like usually if you get honked at, you <clears throat> either messed up or you pissed someone off or they're like you didn't go fast enough at a red light, something like that, right? But here it's like a thank you. It's like boop boop, thank you, boop boop, scoot over, boop boop. <laughs> like yeah. get out of the way. Like they literally honk for everything, especially my dad and my sister. They're just honk crazy. <laughs> Talk, talk, talk a little bit about your Colombian dryers. Yeah, dryers is they don't exist out here. <laughs> so because of the fact that it's humid and everyone's trying to like really <coughs> save energy. They have a washer and then they just hang their things on like hangers or like over furniture to They're dry. Wow, like they couches, get, yeah. fans. <laughs> you, the people literally <laughs> hang their Wherever. stuff everywhere. Obviously, they do have dryers over here. People just don't, they, they're not accustomed to using them. That's what I was them. gonna say. So, so even, people are like, can I finish talking? Go ahead. <laughs> so, to, and people's heads are like, you don't need that. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But we're like, yes, we do need that. You're just not used to that. People live out here with $250 a month. You know what I'm saying? That's one of the things that don't make me feel so bad anymore. Before in the United States, you know, you will see people complaining and all that stuff. But people over here make do with so little. Uh, that is very impressive. One big one for me, because of how energetic I am and how like my drive and hustle is, I'm constantly like moving, going. Like I wanna, I do everything fast, right? But here it's like super slow pace. Like if you've ever been to like Hawaii or something where it's very relaxed and the employees and stuff like that, for example, everyone's like, no rush they work super slow they walk super slow like because we walk super fast i think that's another reason why we catch attention because they're like damn like what these guys are in a hurry to get to where though like one of the great things about here is the people from <laughs> medellin and antioquia extremely serviceable people just want to help you so bad you, you ask them like that's hey true. where is this and they will grab you by the hand and literally take you all so the way nice. over there yeah maybe. you go to a house with how many places we've been to where we don't know anybody and they're like sit down, Offer they give us coffee, breakfast, please. they give us freaking food. So it's pretty insane. They make you feel very, very welcomed over here. You go to the bank and you, you'll receive like a debit card, but you don't really use them in the machine. They do at the malls, but other than that, it's cash or what they call a QR code, which most people should be familiar with them now because after COVID, like you go to a restaurant, you have to scan the QR code. So here it's the same thing, except for you pay with the QR code. So you pull up like your bank 
information and then you scan it and you pay like that. So that was kind of different, right? The certain parts, obviously the city is a lot like US, but you go to some of these little pueblitos, which are like little cities or like the country. And guys, it's like, 20, 30, 40, 50 years behind the United States. Like they don't, they don't have a computer. You know what I mean? Everything is re received. They write everything down. Uh, so the technology is way behind. They do things very, very, very old school. Over here, like a Walmart where you go in and you actually pay for your own stuff and those machines, like I haven't even seen that over here. I mean, they do have the registers at the malls where people help you out, but uh, like, in the little uh, cities, the guy will walk and grab all the products for you. Like you go to the supermarket and you tell him, I need a toothpaste, I need this, this, that, and the other. He'll literally grab it for you, bag it up for you, and write it down on the little thing. And one of the things that is funny that I've seen, even yesterday when I changed the oil on the car, uh, calculators are huge out here, uh -huh. you know? People have the calculator <laughs> on deck and they're just like, the oil was 350. <laughs> this one was 370. Uh, he had used two of them times two. Divided by 17 and that's literally how you do it, you know, it's crazy. I feel like I'm going from the future to the past because obviously I was here in Colombia That's how we did business and I went to the United States and it's completely advanced and then I came back By the way, the malls are actually super, you, the malls feel like you're in the, you're in the US I think much, the malls right? here are way better than over there. They're really nice. They're so sick. they're the only difference actually is that you see dogs everywhere in a mall like Talking about dogs. Yeah, actually, so that's another thing that I have on my list. Dogs are allowed everywhere, period. Like, you can rent any apartment, any house. Like, in the US, there's a lot of restrictions, right? So, either they don't accept dogs, or if they do, you have to put an extra deposit. And on top of that, it has to only be a specific breed. Like, it's a lot of, you go to a mall and you see like the teacup dogs in the purse. You know what I mean? You can't really be walking your dog like in a mall like that. So, here, there, I mean, it's cool though. It's really, especially like, because we have, you know, future, so. So another thing that I have on my list that's not too much of a culture shock for me because it's also very common in Mexico where, I mean, I'm from San Diego, but I am Mexicana, so I've been to Mexico quite a few times. Oh no! Say something in Spanish. <laughs> Come on. I get shy when I get put on the spot. Colombia is very beautiful. Colombia es una hermosura. Oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Facts. <laughs> uh, okay, so people hustling on the streets. Everywhere you go, uh, you can find freaking hand wipes, butt wipes, different juices. Uh, what else? Like, oh, and then you got like young kids, like seven, 11 years old, like coming up to you trying to uh, <laughs> clean your window and stuff. And you'll be like, no, 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 I'm good. Two freaking traffic lights ago, you just got your window clean, but here they are trying to clean them for you. And they, you know, you'll be like, no, I'm good. And they're still right there. Like, nope, trying little happy faces, trying to bribe you and stuff like that. And then you, they make you feel like this obligation to give them like money and stuff. And it's cute. And we respect that. Cause it's like, they're, I think it's there, awesome. right? they're not begging for money. They're giving you a service, you know? And I get my windows wiped like three, four, five times. I can't say no to them, you know, like they just put it, I tried and they don't even look at you, you know, and I just feel bad. So I give them like a coin, which is not even that much. I mean, it's like in the United States, maybe 10 cents, 15 cents. And they're cool with that. That makes their day, you know yeah. what I mean? So it's pretty awesome that, and I've heard, correct me if I'm wrong, Santi, those people end up making minimum wage. Huh? So I hear that those people like by cleaning windows, they end up making minimum wage out here, which is pretty respectable. So another thing here, which also happens in Mexico, is uh, you pull up to a gas station and people pump the gas for you. <coughs> They'll also offer to clean your windows and stuff like that, but you you don't have to get out of your car. Right? Have you ever experienced that in the United States? No. No. So yeah, New Jersey. Oh, New Jersey is oh, like really? that. The only place that I've uh, seen that is the same is New Jersey. So anybody from New Jersey, shout out. I think all the Colombian people went over there. And that's how the <laughs> gas stations work. It's just like New Jersey, guys. You get in there, it's just a little bit better. People give you water, they clean your windows once again, it's, they give you the full experience. Yeah, so moving on, you don't really, actually, you don't at all find any spicy food. Like, they don't have the option of like, oh, can, you know, level one spicy or, uh, just no, there's no spice, period. Like, you go to the store, you find a, what is it, ahi? Ahi. Uh, ahi is like the common spice and I've tried it and it's, there's no advice to it basically. Mexican, it's just like it's, flavor. They like to put fire in their mouth and it makes no sense. <laughs> oh, but you know what is cool though? The food out here is more organic. That's a plus. The stoplights are freaking, I'm tall, you know? And usually the cars here are small, but the stoplights, you literally stop at the stoplight. You know what I'm saying? It's not like in the United States where it's the street ahead and you can actually see it. 
So I'm in there like just breaking my neck, <laughs> trying to see like when it turns green uh, for me to go. So that was pretty. And half of the time, like people know the lights, like you will just see, you could be at a red light and then the taxi driver just goes straight through it. I'm like, what the, what is going on? Like my man, and then you see another taxi driver and he goes straight through it and they're like, you talk to a Colombian and they're like, uh, like Santi, they're like, yeah bro, like they know which ones have cameras <laughs> and which ones don't. Like It's like a six, seven. People here, there's no, there's there's rules in certain places, there's rules in, there's no rules in certain places. Like, Some things are so straight. If you get yeah. to a four way stop, whoever goes first goes, that's it. It ain't like first, second, third, fourth, like in the United States, not. <laughs> you gotta, and if you don't go, you're stuck. You know what I'm saying? Y'all hear that? That's another thing, like there's like, guys outside talking about aguacate like they will sell you <laughs> all kinds of vegetables and they will wake you up in the middle of the freaking day i'm getting used to it oh yeah me too another one they have no ubers so it's all cabs ubers yeah no you guys do have ubers but where are they <laughs> they're everywhere they're everywhere yeah you can you can download oh okay we, yeah because well, we were we told are, that yeah we heard that the taxi drivers like, like kicked them out lately. like booted them they tried but they're, they're oh. still out there Okay, so guys, we haven't found the Uber drivers yet. So. But we also haven't pulled up our apps to try and use it because of what we were informed of, so. For anybody that is traveling from the United States and coming here, uh, make sure that you do your homework and you have some type of... Does the Uber, something does it work the same as the United States where they tell you how much it is yeah. before? Because taxi drivers over here, they know that, like for example, why I have such an issue with Bogota. I went there to go pick up my puppy. The taxi driver tried to charge me 200 Colombian to take me to the nearest hotel, which is ridiculous. I'm from here, I'm not dumb, you know what I'm saying? But obviously I can tell that they do that a lot to a lot of uh, people that are coming from different countries that don't know how much it's supposed to cost you, you know what I'm saying? Last but not least, uh, the kids out here. So, so cute um, how talkative and uh, well-spoken, outgoing the kids are out here. So like, and it's been like every child that we've interacted with, we're walking down, you know, through the mall and we stop to go get like a, a whatever, you know, at a little kiosk and a kid will come up to you and just have a full-blown conversation. But it's not even like, it seems like an adult in a little, child's body they're very confident um and like i said well spoken they talk to you like they just they they're not shy they just go out there and they're just like oh my god your puppy and oh like i have this and i used to have a puppy like this and just tell you this whole story right and you're just having a full-blown conversation with a child yeah i've always been that way because i'm from here and people always thought that i was kind of weird kids out here like we are brought up differently. Like a little kid will completely have a conversation with you he knows where he lives he knows where he's going he knows what's going on he understands way more than in the United States. In the United States, kids are, oh my God, you gotta take care of them and poor little Timmy. And little Timmy's playing PlayStation all freaking day. Mm -hmm. And he doesn't have that inter interaction that life gives us. Out here, kids are outside, you know, until like freaking 10, 11, grabbing each other's hands and just running around screaming some type of song, you know what I mean? Having a full, uh, having, having a blast, so. Living life been three weeks guys so that has been our experience so far do you have anything else just like anything else it's like the climate you know how it's cold at first and then all of a sudden your body gets used to it like now nah, we're starting to get used to it at first guys it was very yeah. overwhelming we will come home stressed out and i was like yo man i don't know how long we're gonna be able to freaking last but now <laughs> it's becoming better uh the way of life is you could do so much more with so little over here currency the way of life and everything is so much cheaper like the best apartment out here on the best city you're looking at seven to eight hundred bucks a month that's that's renting a room in someone's house in san diego so yeah i mean with a thousand dollars you gain a toilet and a kitchen maybe <laughs> make it a goal in life for you to live life in your own terms man that's what we want you guys to get out of our youtube channel you busting your butt all your life till you become 60 so that you can enjoy the time when your body doesn't even allow you to have fun that to me is insane you know please subscribe man turn on that little bell notification it will help us out a lot and comment below let us know what else you want to learn if you want to learn how we did this there's questions that we haven't answered you know what i'm saying that's what this channel is about if we can inspire one of you guys to live life to the fullest that we're doing our job exactly so if you support our dream all we ask is for a simple subscribe. All right, guys. Till the next one.